I have to admit, I was more than just a little intrigued by Sanctuary Wood's new CD, Wool. It was tough to tell from the ads. What is it, a sim, a strategy game, a role-playing game? Whatever it was, it looked pretty cool. Yeah, I was pretty anxious to check Wolf out too. Original game ideas are few and far between nowadays. Games like this are a welcome sight. I can't say that I came away from Wolf with the same level of admiration though. It's not the shining success it could have been. That's true. There is a lot to like about Wolf though. The idea is pretty neat for starters. Control a pack or lone wolf and utilize their incredible senses to make your way through a scenario. Sanctuary Woods wanted to stress realism here, and they've done a decent job, requiring you to monitor your surroundings constantly to survive. Well, that is a great idea, but the reason it fails is because of the unadjustable overhead view. Playing Wolf reminded me a lot of Max's Sim Ant, which used the same type of view screen and roughly the same size objects. Your wolf is very small, and consequently not very detailed. Wait a second, we're talking about a huge world here. The overhead view is perfect for this type of game because the player can see all around the wolf he controls. Plus, since there's so much movement involved in the game, running, eating, and so forth, they couldn't have put any more detailed graphics in it without slowing it down like crazy. That may be so, but I still think the whole interface should have been redone. Face it, the entire ad campaign, especially the logo picture with that wolf man staring at you, sort of implied a first-person perspective. I think that would have been great. Imagine seeing what a wolf sees. Can you say Wolf 3D? There's good and bad to that idea. The bad is that a first-person perspective wouldn't be all that great for some of the really cool aspects of the game, like locating things far away by using your sense of smell. Granted, hunting and, uh, well, mating would be much more realistic, but first-person is old news. It's not original. Okay, let's talk about something else. How about the pre-made scenarios? I guess they accurately represent what wolves think about and everything. Who knows? But they're all too similar. I found myself frustrated and bored after trying and failing at a couple of the harder ones. What do you expect? Should you be able to solve them all on your first or second try? No. I understand what you mean, though. The three different wolf species share many of the same scenarios. At the very least, Sanctuary Woods should release more scenarios or post some on a PBS for downloading or something. In my opinion, Wolf is the first real instinct simulator. A pure action-reaction game. You take in sights, smells, and sounds, and respond accordingly. There are plenty of options available in the simulation mode, which differs from scenario mode in that you build the scenario yourself and then play it. There's no established goal in simulation mode. Your only real objective is to survive. You can set the weather, season, amount of people, and other variables. Obviously, wolves need food and water to replenish their energy. It's easy to die of dehydration and hunger in this game, so these things must be monitored closely. If it's raining, your wolf can just open his mouth and drink to his heart's content. Yeah, I found that to be a little weird. You'd think that it would take a while to fill your stomach with rainwater. It happens in a matter of seconds here. Eating isn't so easy. If you're not lucky enough to find a carcass or a hidden cache of food, you must hunt for your meal. This is pretty difficult as it involves finding an animal and then clicking on it with the mouse, which is nearly impossible when the animal is running in various directions at twice your speed. Not that I know a whole lot about this, but I doubt that the average wolf struggles much when chasing a rabbit. Well, wise guy, you live and you learn. Wolf comes with an electronic encyclopedia of wolf information accessible within the game. I couldn't find anything to complain about here. This is a great addition that, if nothing else, will probably help the kids out on a science paper somewhere down the line. You'll probably end up using it to gain hints for playing the game, too. Well, I was obviously more impressed with the game than you were, but you raised some good points. There are certainly a couple of flaws in Wolf that should be corrected. Yep, that's basically what I'm trying to say. As it stands now, Wolf is a decent game with an outstanding idea behind it. With a little more time, though, I'm sure it could have been much deeper and much better looking, which would have given it wider appeal.